Just jump scare me, dude. Come on. You won't. You won't. He showed up from the other vent. Why did he show up from the left? He wasn't... <laughs> I thought he was on the right. He wasn't even over there. How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another video. Now, today is going to be a little bit different. You might be thinking, Ryan, why are you playing uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator and not Final Nights 3? Well, to put it blunt, I was kind of getting a little sick of Final Nights 3. <laughs> I know we only did like three, three videos on it, but I was getting a bit bored of it. And because to this week's discussion video is all about Pizzeria Simulator, I thought it would be fitting to come back and actually try to finish this game because last time I didn't get the lore keeper ending, which I think is the one with the with Henry's speech, because I didn't actually take lefty. So this time I wanted to come back and actually play it right and get the and like actually achieve the ending on my own. So uh, without further ado, let's just get into the game. Now we're gonna be doing a new game, of course. Yes, I'm sure. So we're starting fresh. It's a from the, from the top. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your What do you hands. want to do with your life? You I want to run a pizzeria, home. of course. Great. Duh, now I wouldn't be here if I didn't. All your eggs into one basket and take That's how life works. On your future. A gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. In some cases, in that what case it's mine. About? We're going to win. We're talking about becoming a fast bear entertainment franchisee. Mm -hmm. That's right. Restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Yeah, anyone could sure, do it. It's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything. And they're actually the Fazbear's actually helping us out. Money, they're giving us stuff. Room, some tables, they never do that. Electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, we let's get take everything. a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere. Making sure you gotta make, gotta get the right atmosphere. atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value mm -hmm. in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Point Bonus revenue. Games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more <laughs> money in your pocket. Ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. Yeah, who cares about health and safety? Purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners just buy it, just call it good. Business. But there are steps you can take to ensure <laughs> you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to... <laughs> I don't know why this one always makes me laugh. Being a thrifty shopper is smart. But be aware that buying things on sale comes with a yep. certain just, amount of You risk. just gotta buy it. Aside from the daily risk Who cares? Losses, just buy it. There's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steep... Ah, I'm sure they'll be happy down. to be here. Of course... That would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of Hi, help Freddy. we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, All right, can we get into the game now? You are now the face of the newly rebranded mm -hmm. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride. I will. Let's make some money. I'm smiling. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearing. I got a big smile on my face. All right, yep, I know how to do this. We've done this once before, all the way back in April. I went back to look to just see how long it was, and it was back in April when we played Let's this see game. How much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise? Now, 100 bucks. Great, that should be more than enough. Mm -hmm. Now let's get started. On your all right. Lab yep. Are your product catalogs? You can uh, have more liability catalogs. risk. All right, we're buying that. <laughs> for your we're buying that. Use the arrows in the bottom we right are buying. The oh yeah, they're not available. <laughs> Alright, what can I buy? Shopping, I can buy a small stage. Mode to place your items. And I can't. I can buy paper files. Alright, I feel like that's all I really need. Oh, I don't have enough to buy this. Alright, that's fine. When you're Let's ready move to on. Open your restaurant for business yep. For the day, I know what I'm doing. Alright, we're not taking the sponsor sponsorship. So that is one thing that I will not do. Is I will not be taking the sponsorships at all. 
because all the sponsorships your do is, now is just screw you. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. All right, well, I'm just going to kind of skip through this because we don't need to sit here through night one uh, since we've already done, we've already played this game and uh, nothing happens on this night. So I will see you guys back at the salvage section. All right, we're logging off. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Yeah, I am. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. Mm -hmm. There's a big party here Saturday, on Saturday, and, and I gotta make sure that day as your ultimate test. I gotta make sure that they're make all there. Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. Mm hmm. Thank you for believing in me. All right. Congratulations. We need to successfully salvage this because I need However, money to get the upgrades. Hi, Freddy. We're skipping that. Proceed to salvage. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Yeah, so some things we're going to be kind of skipping through because we already played this and so I don't really need to actually do it, but I just thought it'd be fun to actually play through the game again, especially given that I want to actually unlock. Can this guy stop talking? I'm trying to talk here. And he's talking over me. But yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to like replay it and actually get the ending like actually get it and not just watch the video uh he didn't move do i need to shock him wait what's what's shock i'm shocking him i didn't trust it uh space to press play i don't know how close he can get i just i just don't trust these results I think he's fine I think we can go one more I think we can go one more because I gotta save him so that I don't decrease his salvage because I need money to actually buy the upgrades for the equipment so which is obviously what I'm gonna be trying to do go away nice try bucko all right, let me let me let me continue, please. Audio prompt in three, two, one. This section is still scary. Not as scary as playing it for the first time, but it's still scary. Document results. Yeah, nice try. I had one last shock I could give you. Begin audio prompt in three. I'll try not two, to spoil one. my opinions on the game until, obviously, the review. But I will bring up some stuff because this is sort of like leading up to the review of this game. And no, this is really long. And I don't know how loud this is going to be over me talking. But uh, no, I'm not going to be replaying every game leading up to its respective review. Like if we ever do a FNAF 2 review, I'm not going to play through FNAF 2 again. Uh, I just Don't wanted to do Pizza result. Sim because the, of the fact that I technically that didn't get the, the like speech well ending. End so I wanted to actually go get that ending, which is why I'm replaying it. Glad to have you here, buddy. Makes the nights less lonely. We got 34 visitors, not bad. Uh, and seeing we have 34 visitors, why don't we see if we can get some more subscribers that's right we're doing a little push uh we are so close to a thousand subscribers and so i would just love it if you guys haven't already to go down and hit that subscribe button because like i said we're so close and it would just mean the world to me if we could reach a thousand subs uh and while you're down there might as well leave a like because i don't know why not uh, i'm saving my money because i need to buy upgrades so my restaurant's gonna suck but that's okay <laughs> We need equipment upgrades. Oh, no, 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 no. I need equipment. Buy me that. All right, let's see where he is. He's there. I got to remember my strategy for this. It's been a while. I was re-watching my videos on it because I just felt like it. And so it's it's been a while since I've, I've actually had to play this. But I kind of remember my strategy. I should probably put both earphones on, shouldn't I? I don't I don't know where he is. I'm, I'm gonna put it there. 
Oh, I think he went there. All right, go here. Maybe he didn't? Oh, he did. Okay, go here. While we're doing that, I'm going to order some cups. Come on. Can you order these cups a little a little quicker, please? Thank you. Okay, where is he? I don't like not seeing him. Where Where is he? Do a scan. Oh, he's down there. All right. Go here. I want to make sure he actually goes there. Okay. Uh, I guess I could maybe lure him here. Uh, and I'm going to actually do these first because these are a bit louder. I'm going to turn the vent on while I'm doing this. I'm, I got to remember my strategy. Okay. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. All right. He went there. I heard him. Can you go up, please? Mr. Freddy. Mr. Freddy. I need you to go up. Oh, look, I got to turn this back on. Okay. I don't know where he's probably in. The, he's going to kill me. Yep. Go away. Leave. Yeah, I know it's getting toasty in here, but he won't leave me alone. Just jump scare me, dude. Come on. You won't. You won't. He showed up from the other vent. Why did he show up from the left? He wasn't... <laughs> I thought he was on the right. He wasn't even over there. Alright, I'm a bit rusty, but we'll get back into it. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get through night two in this video. Let's just get back into it. Oh, okay. We, we should be fine. Actually, I want to make sure that he kind of goes up here. But we should be okay. We got two more tasks, and he's on, like the upper part of the map so we should be okay but i think my strategy tends to actually work pretty decently um obviously i've not tried with four animatronics uh but it tends to work out pretty well uh given the fact that the motion detector decides to work which i really think that it doesn't uh because i was so i was re-watching my old videos uh and one night I didn't pick Lefty, so it was just Circus Baby, um, Scrap Trap, and um, Molten Freddy. And I clicked the motion detector, and five points showed up. And I don't even think there could be five animatronics in a night. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty broken. But, so we'll do the salvage section here, and then we'll probably just call it for today's video. Probably not a super long one, but that's okay. Shut up, dude. All right, let's, let's go. Chosen to proceed with the maintenance check. Hi, William. Remember, use your How have you been? To return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable. You got a whole redesign. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the mm -hmm. animatronic and decrease its. Volume. I know. I thought I skipped this. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I'd love to hear some new audio prompts instead of just these same ones over and over again. Document results. This is probably the best in lighting to look at him in. in three, two, I feel like one. I could get one more out of him. I'm worried he's gonna jump scare me. Document results. I'm gonna shock him first. I'm just I was just worried. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Prompt in three, two, two one. one. He's just sitting there. He's having the time of his life sitting in a chair. Also, do we have to get like specialized chairs for the animatronics? Because I feel like they'd be kind of like heavy. 
and it would probably break regular chairs. So do we have to give them like special reinforced chairs for them to actually sit in? Or are we like standing and is this like a really tall table? Or maybe not really tall, but is this like a reasonably tall table? Document results. Oh, he's gonna... I'm just gonna shock him. I got I got a freebie. He didn't move. I'm gonna shock him. Why not? I have I have one more I can use. And this is the last one, so we're, we should be fine. We're good. We're gonna get a thousand. Oh, we're gonna get a thousand dollars, which means that we can buy the other upgrade. And depending on how much money our restaurant made, we might be able to even buy the other one and get the last two equipment upgrades and call it good. All right, this is a really long audio prompt. All right, are we? Can we stop? Maybe, please, and let me be done. Document results. Hey, move. Hi. Completed the maintenance check. Hello, William. Proceed with the south. Hello, are you in there? Well done. End tape. Welcome to my restaurant. What a deceptive calling! I knew it was a lie the moment I heard it. Obviously. But it is intriguing, nonetheless. So you can't fault me if you end up getting burned in the restaurant. All right, you can't fault me on that. How much did that make? Oh, we might? And no lawsuits, let's go. All right, let's see how much money we have, 1,500. We should actually have enough for both upgrades. Um, but I'm gonna save that for next video. So I don't know, can I just go back to the Oh, that's going to let me quit the game. All right, I'll, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Uh, I usually like to end all videos on the title screen, so that's that's why I didn't just end it there. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be... It's just a, just a replay of Pizzeria Simulator in lead up to the discussion video coming out on Saturday. So, obviously, like I said kind of earlier, we're just going to be skipping through some stuff. Like, I don't need to sit here and listen to all the audio and, like... All this kind of stuff and probably some of the nights i'll just skip through for you guys because we don't need to sit here and well i don't need to have you guys just sit here and rewatch the whole thing since i've already played them but seeing as it's been quite a few months since i've last played this uh i talk a bit different i talk a bit louder and a little bit more energetic than i did back then so hopefully the commentary during the nights is a bit better than it was back in the day uh, and it'd be fun to kind of compare the two videos uh or maybe the two series that i end up doing uh just to kind of see how much they're different but yep that was uh, nights one and two i know there's six nights i'm pretty sure so that's kind of why i wanted to get two done in one video so that i have the rest of the week to have like one night per video uh but yeah that is gonna be it so shameless plugs go check them out they are linked down below be sure to like on the video if you enjoyed comment if you want to say anything or if you have any other game suggestions since i'm always looking for new games to play be sure to subscribe oh whoa i was talking a little fast there be sure to subscribe to see more content like this there we go thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video and comment scrap trap if you made it this far in the video and at that i will see you in the next one goodbye